Hello, 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 my beauties, and it's time to share part two, Destiny Matrix, of how you can self-diagnose yourself and your energies, as they in plus, as they in minus, because quite often I'm hearing from you, like in commentary, oh, I think my energy Z is in plus, or I think that, you know, uh, how, how doctors say, Mm, there are no 100% healthy people and the same about could be said about destiny matrix energies that you may think it's in plus but in fact it's not in plus and only someone with experience and watchfulness who had many many cases had destiny matrix experience they may look at you, at your speech strategies, at your behavior, at your life decisions, and tell you, is this energy really, really in plus in your case? So we stopped in previous video at question, at question, at energy number 11, and now energy number 12. Energy number 12, if you have this energy in your matrix, uh, which questions you should ask yourself and here please remember it depends if it's um it stands somewhere in the matrix or it stands on a love line yeah there will be difference uh, there will be exception with questions for these two positions yeah karmic tail we prescribe to everywhere in, in the matrix position let's say destiny matrix energy 12 so uh, if you have it anywhere like here here yeah you should ask yourself uh, what is my sacrifice yeah what am i sacrificing on a daily basis and for whom or for what and why yeah what for and uh, another question, what I am ready, what I am psychologically ready in order to, what I'm psychologically ready to sacrifice in order to uh, make my dreams or goals come true, yeah? Hope it's clear. So what you ready to sacrifice? Yeah, you want finances. Are you ready to sacrifice like your daily routine for this? Like if you want money, are you ready to change your schedule? What you ready to sacrifice? Will it be sleep? Will it be communication with friends? Uh, will it be some other lazy activities? Yeah, what you ready to sacrifice? Here we go. Uh, for those of you who have it on a love line in these two positions, like connecting finances, yeah, here on a love line, you should ask yourself um, to whom I attached or tied to, to whom I am attached, tied to, to whom? Um, am I feeling free with this person to be myself? with those people to be myself am i feeling free uh, what is preventing me from leaving these people or leaving this person yeah you need to think because quite often energy 12 they get in attracted and attached to people uh, whose love they trying to Mm, deserve yeah through going through some sort of like martyr journey yes yeah? they sacrifice a lot a lot a lot a lot for the person at at the end it eventually did not work out and here i can bet if we will go and check matrices of those girls women who suffered from Andrew Tate I bet I will be seeing their strong energy 12 somewhere in strong position those those of them who got attached to him and those of, of them who served his business yeah most likely we will we will see their strong energy 12. so in relationship especially this these two positions yeah, you should view from the point of relationship and ask yourself those particular questions. In your case, it will be more about towards whom I am attached to, tied to, instead of what is my sacrifice. 
Uh, energy 13, yeah, and as you know, uh, I have this energy in, in a really strong position, so which changes, which changes, which exactly changes are scaring me, which changes are scaring me, mm, what uh, outdated I am trying to preserve, and which changes I'm expecting, but I'm not acting on them. Because sometimes we just sit out there and expect something to happen, like magically, we're not acting towards those um, changes. We expecting some sort of like magical invitation from universe. And it's good if in your destiny matrix, energy 13 accompanied, uh, accompanied by energy 10. Yeah, it may work in your case. Then you will be sitting out there and saying, okay, which changes I'm expecting? And boom, magical invitation from universe. But if you don't have energy 10, and strong positions that goes again with your 13 and if you have a special like in my case energy 7 you need to act on uh, desired changes okay you need to act on desired changes so list me uh, changes that scares you and changes that you waiting for but not acting on them okay Energy 14, and we had been talking about this energy recently. I mean, I made a short video, I think valuable one, about hero of World War II, a woman, yeah, and she had it in a strong position of year of birth energy. And that during World War II, she was known by her... Mm, I'm trying to find definition like co-workers, but it's not co-workers. Uh, people with whom together she she, she fought it against Nazi. Yeah, um, she was described by them, uh, by group um, by group of these people. She was described as very cold-blooded. And energy 14 in minus, it's very childish energy. A lot of childish, uh, all, all sort of, you know, like tantrums, they throw in, they, they may get upset just because it's snowing outside, you know, and they may start crying because of it. Because they waking up, oh, it's snowing outside. Oh, this is energy 14, yeah? Very childish, very, very, very mood swings. It's astonishing. When there is even no reason for a mood swing, energy 14 in minus will, will find, you know, something that gonna irritate them, make them angry, make them sad, make them out of balance. And there was another interesting case of energy 14. Um, I will be sharing in my book that um, I'm about to finish about destiny matrix and finances. Yeah, you will read it there. But quite quite interesting, real world, real world example. So here we go for energy 14. Mm. Is my life harmonious? Do I have a harmonious life? Yeah. Uh, or it, it's not harmonious. And uh, for energy 14, it's highly recommended to build this wheel of balance. You know, dif different areas like wheel of balance, career, relationship, um, family, children, health, uh, how much they satisf satisfied. Um, this entire wheel of balance was invented for energy 14 and serves energy 14 and only. For other energies, um, this wheel of balance should be performed in a different way. You know, th this mini training, mini task should be moderated because no value you in this exercise let's say for other energies it will not benefit you in any freaking way but for energy 14 this is a really eye-opening eye-opening um, exercise wheel of balance yeah um what else uh, energy 14 as well very important to have a rhythm in your life you need to have a rhythmical life when it's about um, how's the bio 
biorhythms, yeah, biorhythms. Pay attention, yeah, for energy 14, strong one, I, I would recommend to follow biorhythms and figure out when, when you're the most productive, when you're the most active, how, how it should, you, you really should master and implement this in your life if, if you want to have this energy 14 and plus, because energy 14 may spend tons of money on different types of psychologists. Uh, different types of like uh, here is similar to energy 18 mm, this is two energies more psychotic and if 18 leaning towards different type of phobias panic attacks energy 14 more leaning towards like anger issue etc 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 yeah so uh, most of this issue most likely will be gone in your case if you have strong 14 if you will adjust your life to biorhythms if you synchronize your your life your schedule yeah with biorhythms this is something that is like lifesaver to you and girls i i'm here giving you a lot a lot of value other destiny matrix readers will will not provide you with this you can just have an energy 14 you can just take this one fucking advice just one this start doing this implementing this in your life go and research in biorhythms how to implement it how to start living according to them just this one take yeah you will already see improvements like in three months run three from three to six months run if you consistent and you're doing you just doing things for one exact energy because we have an a common situation with my clients and coaching when they want to jump on all energies at once and see improvement in their life no nah. We only start, we only focus on one exact energy that is causing the domino effect of your dest in your destiny matrix. We're focusing on only one energy for the first three, six months. Yeah, for some clients, it's energy 10. And you know, I have a lot of clients with energy 10. They, they're so attracted to me. So uh, in your case, it could be energy 14. So if in your case, this is energy 14 and, and you really noticing that you are psychotic to some extent, start implementing this one simple advice. No, no psychologist yet. No, 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 nothing. Biorhythms. You will see in three, six months, you will see the change. Okay. Now, um, energy 15, devil's energy. Yeah. Uh who is trying to seduce me and whom I am trying to seduce. Why I manipulate people who under which circumstances. Uh, energy 15, remember, you never saint and you replace in one addictions with another one addictions. You may think, and again, it's wrong thinking, you may think, oh, I got rid of all of all, all, all my addictions, negative addictions. No. In your case, you will never get rid of addictions if you not replace them. Like, if you will not replace in smoking cigars with a gym, yeah? If you're not replacing something with something healthy, Mm, it will never wo work for you. For energy 15, especially in strong positions, it will never work for you if you are not replacing um, this with something else. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, energy 15 here, I, I would tell you interesting thing. Energy 15 always trying to deceive a devil. While energy 16 always trying to deceive a god. Think about it. Why energy 15 trying to deceive a devil? Like they focusing on different, let's say, people, yeah, subjects. Mm. Even though it's wrong characteristic, but you, you got it. Yeah, one person focusing on devil, other person focusing on God. But both of them, 16 and 15, they are trying to deceive. Energy 15 trying to deceive devil not God, but devil, energy 16, trying to deceive God. And by the way, those of you who learned basics of destiny matrix, the different courses, they must explain you this. I mean, like for real, 
they must explain you this. This is fundamental. This is fundamental question, yeah, um, for understanding of destiny matrix and understanding the difference between those energies. I'm not giving you answer here, you know, but think about it. Mm, I'm, I'm sure if you will think about this, like, for long enough, you, you will be able to come to some sort of conclusion and you feel free to drop what you think about this in comment section. Or maybe later on, if I will see enough of in a um, good amount of thoughtful comments in comment section, yeah, related to this question. So energy 16, trying to deceive a God. Um, energy 15, trying to deceive a devil. Why so? Why so? Think about it and comments, comments, comments in a comment section. Mm, let's see if you will be able to figure this out because this answer to this question is one of fundamental answers uh, for understanding destiny matrix. Why one energy focusing? Why? And why other focusing on the seven God? So, um, okay, uh, energy 15, you need to analyze your addictions and change them into, into healthier addictions, okay? Uh, energy 16, uh, trying to deceive a God, you, you already know this, uh, quite often energy 16 makes God laugh, makes God laugh because of, of their plans. You know, if ener for energy 7 to build all sorts of plants, green light, green light, green light, for energy 16, you should build plans, but remember, uh, remember about higher plan of all plans, you know, cosmic plan, God's um, plan, whatever you believe in, yeah, w whatever your refugee is, because each religion is a certain type of refugee at the spiritual level. At physical 3D level, we have homes, we rent in, we own in. Yes, also those who not rent in, not own in, um, not, not having like even a basic uh, spot like a country. Yeah, those are refugees and, and they, they, they're searching for shelter. And religion provides a shelter, certain type of shelter, religion or belief, certain belief. Uh, and if person feels safe enough in this shelter, if their life going well, as they will never be thinking of changing this this shelter. Okay, so uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, what I need to get rid of. What I am afraid that it will be destroyed in my life. What I'm afraid to get rid of and what I'm afraid that will be destroyed in my life. What, what will be destroyed in your life? Yeah, what you're afraid? What could be destroyed? Yeah, um, as well, you need to understand that if you have energy 16, um, only excessive sense in your life will be destroyed. Only excessive sense in your life will be destroyed. And as well, you need to remember and you need to answer to yourself because we have here similarities and still differences between 16 and 13. So 13, energy 13, they are, um, tend to do extreme things on their own for fun, for fun. Energy 13, this is always extreme for fun. To have some, some type of fun. Energy 16, it's always extreme, but this is so much different type of extremes than energy 13. Energy 16, more extreme under war conditions, you need to understand. Energy 16, quite often, if you have um, strong energy 16 in your destiny matrix, you will be tested, you will be tested um, by war. You will find yourself in, in a country that launches war yeah uh you may find yourself in the middle of war actions or some some type of revolutionary actions etc 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 because this is a test of energy 16 how they gonna act during the circumstances of war this is quite interesting trait of energy 16 and by the way look yeah i have it on ancestral diagonal yeah and again as well, certain things that had happened, for example, 
my ancestors participated uh, in World War Two, World War One. Yeah, certain things that were done, they um, they were sort of like wrong decisions, wrong answers, and I know exactly which because I I know my ancestors, I know all the stories, I know where during war circumstances my ancestors played it wrong, in a wrong manner, and how I should not act. Yeah if similar situation will occur and usually we, we find in yourself in in such circumstances where we um being put in tests similar that our ancestors went through and failed yeah so check it energy 16 related to war so let let, let me know please and will be tested by war, especially if you have a uh, strong 16 somewhere here. War, revolutionary something, yeah? You will find yourself one or another way. One or another way. Uh, next one. Um, next one, energy 17. It's about your talent, how talented you are. And But the question you need to ask yourself, is my life interesting? Do I live in interesting life? Do I live? Am I living an interesting life? Yeah? And um, try even to have some sort of like dictaphone exercise uh, and audio record um, as you sharing with some um, friend, you know, long distance friend, um, how your day went. And try to describe uh, your regular day in an interesting way as you describe it for your like far away friend. Try to do this at least like for a week every day and see how, how much you can. Uh, do you have interest in life or it's Groundhog Day? Do you have interest in life or it's Groundhog Day nonstop? Yeah, energy 17. This is this question you need to ask yourself. Uh, do I have interest in life? Uh, what I am hoping for in my life and do I really striving for professionalism yeah what you doing to to be professional because you need to be professional what so far you have done to to be professional in your field okay uh, energy 18 oh my, 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 my most favorite energy and today I received the interesting uh, request goes um, in Russia as the leader of opposition died, Alexei Navalny, today. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked uh, because we analyzed his metrics. I analyzed his metrics, especially in my Russian Instagram. I need to find this past. Uh, I analyzed his pictures when he was poisoned and I analyzed his metrics. And I said that he's going against his soul contract. And now he is dead. And I said even in this forecast that if he will continue, if he will keep doing what he's doing, he's doomed. And actually, he already dead. Because he lived against his soul contracts. It's very important to follow, look, it's very important to follow your soul contracts, either in your personal matrix, either in your compatibility matrices. This is what makes your relationship alive, yeah? during years and years not here but mostly here as well so if you see energy 16 somewhere in destiny matters and i'm, I'm gonna look in in terms of compatibility this I'm, I'm gonna prepare a post and post about energy 16 in, in other one compatibility but if you have more interesting cases cases in mind yeah if energy 16 somewhere here like it's even worse than it's here at times at times yeah again it depends it could be repeated here and somewhere here each case is unique yeah so uh, energy 18 my favorite <laughs> uh, my favorite in terms of uh, psycho something yeah and there was suggestion a uh, person requested destiny matrix reading of navalny and why he died, actually. Um, and person thinks that Navalny was dead back in 2020 already after this poisoning. And there was his, like, double, like, twin, yeah, um, who was just killed in jail. So, 
and I will be analyzing this case, his uh, date uh, of death, it's today actually in his matrix, and if we will see some energy set in, oh, I would give a chance to this crazy idea with his, his twin, okay, I, I would be given... I would be given a chance because again he was do he was going so much against his soul contract, and back then when I analyzed this for my Russian speaking audience, ooh, ooh. okay, uh, energy eighteen the most uh, the the Lulu. Uh, these people they tend to different types of psychological disorders. Yeah, so. Uh, they they need to they um, compared to other people they they more than other people need psychological help. Uh, so you need to ask yourself: Is my psyche healthy? Yes or not? Yeah. Uh, if my psyche healthy, yes or not? And for you as well, all this IQ trainings, all this like um, develop your brain cells, your brain reaction, your emotional intelligence, etc. That's, that's your field. You may play all these games, all these trainings. Yeah. So you need to ask yourself how how healthy my psyche is. Uh, do I deceive someone? Um, who deceiving me? And what are my major fears? Okay, energy 19. And that's my favorite because I have this energy on, on the money channel. I have this energy on money channel. And I will be sharing, uh, I will be sharing with you more secrets of this energy in Destiny Matrix book, Do and Get Rich, how energy is working in terms of finances. Uh, so start start saving money for this book already, you know. Uh, here we go. You need to ask yourself, am I a generous person? And what you generous in? Me, myself, like I'm generous in support. I, I'm generous in uplifting people, like cheering them up like look you can do this you can do better why not you why not you striving for this and this because this is your potential and remember i have energy 11 here on money channel and this is about unlocking other other people potential yeah and i'm generous in um, uplifting people like why why you why you settling for so so less you have that much of potential you can you can set higher goals like um, quite often with my clients yeah and motivating them so you need to ask yourself what, what, what i'm generous what, what i'm sharing generously uh you you need to question yourself am i optimistic pessimistic or realistic because for energy 19 especially if you have it on money line if you want to be abundant girls if you want to be abundant you need to stay optimistic an optimistic side never a realist never a realist because for some people especially for energy 18 that we were talking about yeah for them really important to stay a realist because they tend to delulu they have these delulu tendencies and for them it's important to stay realist not pessimist they quite often um what is happening to energy 18 girls here uh, listen to me again. No one will explain you this. They get in, in this sort of mood swing situation when they read reading different literature, listening to different matrix advice, different matrix coaches uh, about the power of visualization that they have. And they started from, from the scratch. They started from very pessimistic mode, from a very pessimistic mode that they have with all their fears, um, problems, etc. They started to push it to optimi very optimistic and that's so fucking wrong for them. Uh, for energy 18 because after every like um, uh, every time they're trying to jump for optimism and they fail it's very painful for them to to try again you know so they should um, stick to the golden medal they should stay realistic you see even like in terms of matrices one person is uh, realistic and for them it's okay and I compared to this person, I'm not realistic, I'm super optimistic, and but for my energies, that's super okay. 
Do you see the difference? And you need to, you need to surround yourself with people who will fuel your energy 19 and fuel your optimism. Do not surround yourself with pessimists. Do not surround yourself with realists who will be like questioning each and every move of yours. Surround yourself with same like uh, driven, um, driven, driven on the move, you know, energized, energized optimists. Okay, energized optimists. Surround yourself. Okay, so uh, here we go. As, um, and here golden rules of money, by the way, I, I will add this uh, to my book. I made already some notes, you know, notes here, notes there. I have like uh, every every time I'm I'm ha I'm having some sort of you know papers with all sort of different notes. <laughs> Whenever idea hits, how to explain things to you in a simpler way. So here we go. Uh, money rules, important money rules. The more happiness and joy you energy nineteen have in your life, the more money you will have. And for those of you who have energy six on your money line, the more love you will have in your life, the more money you will have. And here, modern positivism is playing really, really bad with us. It's messing with us because modern positivism. Uh, they tend to put every fucking sin in one basket. They put ayahuasca, mushrooms, everything, and calling this a spiritual awakening. When um, karmic specialists like me, I know if you take in mushrooms, if you take in ayahuasca, you will not be making better decisions. You will not have clearer mind and you will not have better um, psychic abilities. But quite often the shit uh, sort of uh, people with energy 18 attracted to this positivism. So they making it sort of spread and popular when it's shitty. In fact, it's shitty. But even look, um, uh, I, uh, I had been through serious training. This is remote viewing. And that was FBI project called Stargate. And they had scientists analyzing, are people really um, able to view better, remotely view something better? It's like psychic abilities, yeah? Under uh, influences of certain substances as mushrooms, uh, uh, drugs, etc., 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 or with clear mind. There was experiment run by FBI on this and people with clear mind, always the winning team. So whatever you're shitty as fuck, pop is a tourist sitting with melon, watermelon, boobies on Bahamas, or Bali is popular um, junkyard for those people. Whatever they say to you, please make your own independent research. Read um, a remote viewing uh, related literature. Don't trust watermelons, please. I understand a lot of fans of Harry Styles, um, BTS here as well. Like, okay. Um, but trust someone who actually did research on this shit. Not just say, oh, I must go open my third eye. You know, cuckoo. Sorry, it's cuckoo. I have only disgust to these people and quite often I'm receiving invitations uh, for this circle of degenerates hanging out. And I'm receiving invitations like, come here, do you want to join? No, I don't want to join these degenerates. This is not serious esotericism. Uh, this is very shitty craft and very shitty approach. And these people will not be able to help you to fix your life in, in any uh, manner. Whatever solutions they provide, it will be only temporary and lead you to downfall. So, uh, next one. Mm -hmm. Energy 19. And please, Pop is a tourist. We started. They put everything in, in one basket. Love and optimism. They put it in one fucking basket, like, oh, if you have self-love, you, you, you may have optimist. 
No. You're not mega. You, you may have self-love. You may have enough of love in your life. But it will not pump up your energy 19. Because joy and happiness very different from love feeling even in terms of tarot deck yeah from energy six to energy 19 the entire fucking journey full of lessons so for whom it's easier to achieve is it easier to achieve joy happiness or love it's much easier to achieve love than joy and happiness in your love life you may you may have love but still you 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 may feel unhappy like uh 20 hours out of 24 every day <laughs> or whatever to take different measurements uh, please understand this the more love you have for energy six the more money you have for energy 19 the more joy happiness um celebration you have the more money you have okay so here we go to energy 20 now yeah uh, what kind of relationship are inside of your family healthy or people hating each other uh, all uh, all family members are accepted or there are some that sort of kicked like uh, there were comments like, oh, my, my aunt, she is this, 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 not head, we're not talking to her, yeah? What, what kind of relationship in, in, in your family, within your family, yeah? And here, another interesting thing, make your notes, please, make your notes. Those of you especially who want to focus on um, relationship coaching, yeah? <laughs> as those of you watching a lot of um, related to relationship readings etc etc numerological uh, I will share important difference between energy 13 on love line and energy 20 on love line yeah uh, which relationship you want um, to to resurrect in your life so look if you are a person with energy 13 on your love line, and uh, by the way, I don't have this energy on love line, I have in this part still. Um, if you have on your love line energy 13, most likely you will be like looking back, oh my exes, oh my exes, where are my exes? Yeah, you will be trying, you will be trying to keep unnecessary people in your life uh, people who are not making you any good you will be trying to keep them because they are already familiar to you and you afraid of changes you already know what kind of shit to expect from those people your exes whatever ex relationship as those either ex friendships either like um ex love relationship situation relationship uh, energy certain and this is fucking minus you will be constantly looking back and sort of searching for reconciliation and those of you who are watching i'm not sure you, you will be watching but if by, by some accident you know person who, who watches a lot of readings on uh, reconciliation with someone from your past yeah you 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 stuck on those videos Go check your metrics, please, my bambinos. Energy certain must be there on your love line. It must be freaking there, okay? Uh, and let me know in comments below. Uh, this is a minus for energy certain, actually. You should not look back. Please, never look back. Um, Never look back, okay? You shouldn't look back. Uh, you shouldn't afraid of a change. You shouldn't afraid of new. Okay. But for energy 20, and here we go. Ooh, for energy 20. For energy 20. Quite often, uh, they find themselves in situation when one of the axes are actually good for them. But they are not looking back and not trying to... Mm, reconcile yeah resurrect a relationship uh they're not trying to do this because of what 
because energy 20 they are good in keeping grunges in minus they are good in keeping grunges and they sort of not even looking back what energy 13 must do yeah in plus not look back bye bye that's it done energy 20 quite often they just go in moving forward 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 to the new 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 or further 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 but they never look back and they may find themselves in situations when um Lord, how to explain to you about energy 20 i'm thinking like because in, I, I didn't plan a relationship training. I just planned to share questions, you know. And I already have time limit here. So, what I'm going to tell you. Uh, energy 20. They need to look back, actually. They need to sit out there with clear head, uh, clear thinking, and think, okay, maybe that uh, past person wasn't that bad, yeah. Maybe that past person was not that bad look back and 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 check and see if you have energy 20 somewhere on your love line yeah pay attention which relationship you you want to resurrect especially if it's on love line this is for love line actually question uh, about family members and relationship with family members question is for energy 20 in all matrix positions yeah but if you have it on love line specifically then for you it will be this type of question which relationship you want to uh resurrect with whom you want to reconcile uh, you need to again you need to uh build your family tree do you have it why don't you have it do you know your ancestors how good you know your ancestors what are your excuses of not knowing your ancestors do you have ancestors that you are ashamed of and you need to tell about them actually because by telling about them you accepting them into family system and this is good for you uh energy 21 energy 21 is about stereotypes and what you are trying not to notice currently it's about what stereotypes do you have like what, try to figure out because a lot of a lot of people they not even um, question themselves what, what kind of stereotypes they have even me myself when i'm when i'm thinking even though i don't have energy 21 but i'm thinking with you you know like what what kind of stereotypes i i have in my life like what do i think yeah we are exactly i think in stereotypes without exploring yeah without making research where exactly i'm i'm thinking in stereotypes without making research okay so hmm what are your stereotypes energy 22 uh what makes uh what makes my life fun what makes my life fun what do you uh what do i understand under freedom what do i under uh, what do i understand as a freedom what is freedom to me yeah at whom i'm laughing at who laughing at me in, in which situations maybe you had few vivid situations in your life when someone laughed at you yeah mm, in which uh where i am acting as a fool in my life maybe you feel yourself as a fool mm, i had a client with energy 22 and she went after driving license and she came to me like mm, not with this fear of driving but mm, she was so like confused shy let's say uh, when we dig to the problem, what, what's causing the problem of her not being able to uh, having this blockage of driving a car? Because, you know, uh, stereotypical thinking uh, of parrot matrix reader, whenever you, you come to them with some sort of tear, Sorry. with some sort of fear they will be throwing energy 18 straight on you like oh this is 18 this is energy 18 this is energy 18 no it's not and uh, we figured out that in her case it was energy 22 from karmic tale by the way and she felt as a uh, fool 
she had an inst instructor um, in the school that ma that made her feel like a fool. He wasn't, um, let's say, he wasn't in in abusive or in insulting, but behavior, yeah? His behavior, some people, let's say, uh, they are very skeptical, you know, and uh, this, this type of attitude. And uh, she said to me, whenever he's commenting something like how she drives or park or how she uh, turns the steering wheel, yeah, she said each and every his his comment, I'm feeling like a fool. She changed an instructor, but again, he wasn't um, abusive or verbally uh, in, in insulting her. No, he, he was just giving this commentaries in this way. I hope you understand, yeah? Um, and that made her, due to her inner triggers, that made her, like, again, we were connecting, it was in her case, we were connecting how one of family members spoke to her in, in similar situation in her childhood and how she felt like a fool, you know? And that's why she constantly feeling herself a fool and she's not able to focus, she's not, fab uh, she not able to learn, yeah? So we digged with her to the bottom of this uh, blockage of her driving a car, blockage of her passing an exam, yeah? Uh, we digged to the core of it successfully with help of Destiny Matrix. And in your case, it was Energy 22. In which situations do I feel like a fool? Okay. And uh, towards what kind of freedom you striving for? What is freedom for you? Okay. So, my beauty, that's it. Like, 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 like. Mm, I think video number one with first part of questions right now already only available. Only available to sponsors of my YouTube channel. So, watch videos in time. Uh, likes, likes, likes. The more likes and comments I have, the more likes and comments I see under my video, the more chances that I will keep a free access to this video, okay? And it's in your interest if you don't want to pay some extra, yeah? It's in your interest to share a video on Twitter, to share a video on Facebook, to share a video, whatever um, sandbox you have, yeah, social media sandbox you have. It's in your best interest. If you want this video to stay, like, for public, like, comment, etc., 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 I'm not sure... Should, should I say this already at the beginning of video? But again, like I'm, I'm telling you right now, whatever. Uh, so that's it, my beauty. See you soon. Bye.